$148,000 purse. Can they beat Skip by night? I don't think so. The public doesn't think so. Jack Lee will tell us right now. Narov Miller Scout from the outside tries to lead with a Melvin Strike at the rail. It's Tri Scotch. They move around the turn and Melvin Strike up for Joe Marsh Jr. to take the lead. Miller Scout parked the outside second. Tri Scotch at the rail third. A gap of two back to Skip by night fourth. League leader, the trailer is Rusty Abbott. Down the back stretch, Miller Scout has the lead for Buddy Gilmore. Melvin Strike back to second, a gap at two. Dry Scotch is third. Three and a half further back, it's skipped by night fourth, the quarter mile in 29 seconds each. Around the paddock turn first time, Miller Scout shows the way. Melvin Strike is second, two back along the inside. That's Dry Scotch is skipped by night, moves up on the outside, uh, closer four. In the stretch the first time, on top is Miller Scott of full length, Melvin Strike racing second. The outside comes Skip by night third. Try Scotch at the rail fourth. On the outside, league leader is fifth. The trailer is still Rusty Abbott. Rusty Abbott off stride the half mile, 59 and two. Round the clubhouse turn the final time. Miller Scout leads it. Skip by night on the outside up the challenge for second. Up the rail, Melvin Strike. Down the back stretch they go. With the lead is Miller Scott a length. On the outside, Skip by night is second. Melvin Strike third, league leader fourth. Try Scotch fifth and way back to Rusty Abbott. Or at the three-quarter pole with the lead is Miller Scott the outside skip by night three quarters 128 and two around the final turn Miller Scott leads it skip by night comes to him on the outside they're up the top of the stretch and rolling home up the rail Miller Scott and skip by night on the outside down the stretch they come it's skip by night and Ted Wing to win the George Morton Levy Memorial Fight. Under the wire, skip by night in 157. He puts Miller Scout to sleep in the deep stretch. He wins it going away here with ease as the odds on favor. Now, Doc, down to truck side with Spencer Raw. 28 and 3 for the final quarter. Might have been one of the greatest miles in the history of Roosevelt Raceway because Teddy Wing, this track, is not 100%. It's a little off tonight after the weather, right? Oh, it's rained all day. I would have to say the track's off at least a second, probably more. This, this is a big, big mile. Mile 57. Last half is 57 and three fifths. Uh, 28 and three for the final quarter. You were first over. Is that the way you wanted it after those tough fractions? Yeah, that's where I wanted to do it. I wanted to come first over. This horse is real good that way, and he relaxes good that way. And he's won a lot of races that way before. That didn't bother me any. I just don't come first over. Okay, you came first over, and there you were on the outside, parked all the way with Miller Scout holding on to the lead. Now you draw up alongside of him. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, that he was the horse to beat, of course. And from here on, it was just kind of who had the best horse tonight. My horse is just strong, that's all. Just paced, paced away when we got straight. He likes the half-mile track, right? Oh, yeah, it's great in a half-mile track. He's okay in a mile track, but he just this he just better here. That's all there is to it. Better in a half-mile racetrack. And, uh, you know, like, you know, you can't knock success where he's most successful. He paced in 154 at the Meadowlands and finished third. He just, you know, he's a nice horse there, too, but he just, uh, this is where he's at his best. And he was at his best tonight. Skip by night. It was dominated. This George Morton Levy pacing series comes back and wins the finals. Does it impressively. Congratulations, Teddy. Thank you very much. And welcome back to Stan Bergstein. Okay. Ted Wing, Skip by night. Stanley, tell him what the price.